Yeah, well, Liam Buckley after the win over Shamrock Rovers. Liam, before the game, there was doubts over the pitch. It held up, and you must be delighted now. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we wanted, we were desperate for a result this evening. But in fairness to Anthony and Dave, I was in here this morning, and there was puddles all over the pitch. Uh, it was definitely unplayable this morning, that's for sure. They did on Trojan work to get the game on, and we really needed it on because. It would have been shoved in somewhere inappropriate over the next few weeks for us, and you know, just to get it out of the way with a win is just a, I'm delighted. It's another double derby win. It's great, and uh, you got the idea to start two very early goals. Yeah, in fairness, we've played better. Um, that said, I thought Rovers well in the second half, so we'd be better in the first half. Um, but to go two 0 down at half time was nice. But a one dog strike from Gary McKay, which is a brilliant goal from his end of it. Um, Made a nervous last 10 minutes, you know, to come to it, but I just want us to get back on playing and passing and getting it better. If we can get that better with five to go, who knows? Think the Bears will tired the second half of the. The problem is when you don't have the ball, you get tired. When you do have it, you run all day. So in our games, we're having the ball and playing and linking it in and being a little bit more clinical up front in relation to our passing game, but we just need to revert back a little bit to that, especially with five games to go, because. We've scrapped out a few results in recent weeks, you know, the kind of way, but if we're going to have a season to, to look forward to, um, we need to play it that little bit better. Close to the gap, obviously, the second as well. Um, yeah. Big game on Friday against second place. Yeah, look, at, again, from, from, from where we're at, if you can peg a result against Drogheda, it puts you back in the mix as well. You're obviously going to firm up on second spot, but it's first spot we're looking at here, and Sligo have I think a, a derby game against Derry. They have a, an away game down in Cork, they have us, they have Drogheda away, and the Vishon McGrovers at home. Like, there's not an easy game in those five, and all our games are difficult as well, but we just going to scrap out our own results, and if we can, we'll see where it takes us. I mentioned the Darren Meenan, he seemed to pop out the shoulder there late in the game, but got up and tried to, tried to continue. Yeah, he did. He's a warrior, uh, Darren. In fairness, he just popped it out. Yeah, Fergal, being what he is, he just got it back straight and out for him, and I uh, got, got back in, but he should be okay for the weekend. And Chris Forrest was back in, so you're almost at full strength. Christy was just suspended for this evening. Uh, Kenny had a slight hamstring last week when it was borderline on Friday. We didn't use him on Friday, and his partner had a baby over the weekend. Congrats to, to both. Um, and so we had him on the bench, but we, you know, we can freshen that up a little bit as well on Friday.